I have chosen you and have not rejected you. Paul, in writing to the Thessalonians, is at pains to emphasise that the gospel message is not an invention of human imagination, but the very word of God. Indeed, through much of Paul's writings, we get a sense of Paul's deep respect for the power of God's word. Preachers and theologians can come up with all the wonderful and flashy spiritual insights under the sun, but if it is not grounded in God's word, it has no power. The tragedy of powerless words is forgotten when we consider the overwhelming joy when the power of God's word comes into action. The Thessalonians were joined in the suffering of the Jewish Christians, who themselves were being joined to the suffering of Jesus. Does that sound strange, that to suffer is joy? Paul goes on to point out that the judgment of those who hate Jesus has come. Isaiah too is giving us promises from God that the enemies of God's goodness are on the verge of disappearing. It may seem harsh to our civilised modern ears, but it is simply the outcome of the power of God's word. Goodness multiplies and evil makes itself extinct. We could have been left to our own devices. God could have let us go off and do our own thing, evil making itself extinct. But God has chosen us. God has not rejected us. This is the word of God, the word of God's power, the power of God communicated to us. You will transform your life. God has taken you by the hand. Do not be afraid, do not fear, for I myself will help you, declares the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel.